World War II veterans gathered beneath the wings of a vintage aircraft. Uh, no, I was never in that part of the world. I was up. There's my dad. Uh, you were right up there. In, in the north part. Look yeah. at my dad. Trading war stories and sharing memories with the young and the old. This is the runway we bombed. Families remembering the sacrifices. And my dad knew, and all of the men knew that when they went there, there was a possibility only half of them would return. For Harley Drollinger, who flew a B-24 in World War II, his service wasn't short of daring situations. With our 50 caliber machine guns to keep the Japanese zeros away from us. And so we were able to get away from them. And then about 20 minutes later, the pilot said, well, we will never get back. What do you want to do, bail out or ditch? Starry-eyed bystanders listening in awe. It's been an honor being here and meeting all these brave warriors. And though the war stories were deep, and serious. I said, where's the rest of the crew? And they said, this is all that's left. Light-hearted moments also emerged. I said, I'll swim across and you guys throw me that flashlight. And they threw me that flashlight and it sliced this little finger. And that was the only thing and I didn't get a purple heart out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it certainly didn't mean the veterans weren't honored in a different way. It's a wonderful gift that your generation gave to my generation that uh, we'll always be thankful for. Everybody should be thankful for it. Yeah.